feel like uplifted already. And you know what I need now? I need something like an uplifting meal, something hearty and also very, very delicious and healthy. So loading all of the veggies into one flavor packed meal has actually never been easier than with a fully loaded oven baked frittata, a guaranteed family favorite. And we're going to show you how to do it. We have my sous chef in the kitchen, Graham, who will take us through it. Hi my there. friend, we're going to do it <laughs> without egg, which is normally like the base of a frittata. But it holds it all is, together. Yeah, well, that's the thing. So we've got a very different binding vibe. Agent, if you will, or agents helping us along the way. Be well playing a major part here. We've sprayed our pan with be well oil. Done. We're going to be using our canola oil, which is a fantastic cooking, great high smoking point, yep. loaded with all the right kind of omegas, made from the canola seed. Beautiful balance, not too strong in flavor. Ideal for this. And of course, we've got a couple of interesting things going in here. But for me as a dad, this is how I get veggies into my little ones, dude. I it's the, it's the genius. But you have I to because the them. color. The color is like, ooh. Because you know, with certain sweets, there are certain color cues. In fact, psychologically, um, obviously the way we look at food, the colors are determining Completely, what they're going to taste like. So imagine that. And uh, the, just connecting everything and together. And this here, you've got the sweetness of the sweet corn, which is great. You've got the umami of your little shrooms here. Did you just say got, umami? Umami. Woo! Oh my. Um, and of course the spinach, which is great in iron. It's just, yeah. it's one of those superfoods. Okay, so I'm gonna kick it all off. So this is where it starts to get a little bit crazy. We've got- Polenta. Polenta. Okay, so okay. polenta's got perlenti of, <laughs> <laughs> of sort of touch points where you could get it wrong. So we have to, we have to ace that. What and and that's gonna obviously form the body. This is gonna start to form the kind of the eggy mixture in yes. between all of these healthy ingredients. Then I've thrown in some white quinoa as well. You can use white or red, I am told. I have no idea what the difference is. Then some bicarb, <laughs> uh, presumably the color. Presumably the red quinoa would I, I, be red. I think so, but I, I find the difference. I think that the red itself might be a bit more, I'm gonna say it's gonna be, the, the red's gonna be like more texture for know. me. <laughs> I feel but like the white is, don't worry, I do it there, but the white one is, is also, it also works, I suppose, for the colors you're talking about. Exactly. Don't let me, don't want, let me, don't let me talk to you about like umami of the we, red quinoa. We want a nice neutral color for our, <laughs> our color base. Um, yeah. Then we've got cumin and coriander powder going in, so we're not skimping on the flavor here. If you want to go great. vegan, punch up the flavor level, my friend. All right. I, uh, I know you're a big fan of kind of additional flavor I elements am indeed. like that. Um, so coriander, cumin, and I can find coriander powder actually palatable. Not fresh coriander, but coriander powder. Yes, for some reason, I can deal. You've got that thing here yeah, with the coriander. The genetic predisposition. <laughs> and then we've got some beautiful smoked chili flakes going in there. Do yourself a favor and a flavor. Get oh, yourself. Stop it. Can I <laughs> chop something for you? I'm going to chop some. You've got some, some, some beautiful some red bell pepper. Bell pepper. Please, I sliced a portion of my finger off the last time oh, I used that knife. Is that why I'm doing this yeah, now? That's why you're Okay, cool, so talk to me. What, what type of dice as, do you want in this? You want as, dice? I, I mean, I suppose Fine it's up dice. to you how rustic you want to go with it, but bearing in mind they've got to fit into these little kind of mini ramekin got things you covered. Here, so as fine as possible. So I've mixed all my dry ingredients together. I'm going to put my mushrooms in there as well. Yes. And it's all right that these are quite chunky. And we've got our Be Well canola oil. We're going for about a half a cup. Beautiful. Um, this we know is going to help it cook from the inside out. Obviously, do need some wet ingredients. And then here's the kicker. And this is... I love the kicker, uh, Mike. The kicker. Uh, I'll be well canola mayo, which has got reduced oil, yeah. supported by the Heart and Stroke Foundation. 47% reduced Creamy. fat, but it's vegan friendly. Why? Egg free, dairy free, and naturally gluten free food. And for this, I'm going to be taking three healthy... Tablespoons, dollops. Already, oh. I can see that it's uh, <laughs> it's going to be so creamy. It is, man. You want that texture, I suppose, as as a big part of this. So it's probably going to take you a bit longer to cook than yeah. your regular. Um, Whoa, free tarts, excuse me, wood. Then the sweet corn's going on. And these oh. are great foods if you're trying to get your little ones to eat and enjoy food. Yes. I find hiding things in an omelette or free tarts is really, really good. Is your dice chip? Wow, man. Did you do that now? Or I was did. that pre? I, I did. Sure. I just sometimes I get a bit dicey here and there. Spectacular, <laughs> man. Look at that. There you go. You can <laughs> Thank take you. Um, I'm going to start and to as, this So, so while you're doing that, while that's going to be building, uh, I, I oh, see you, you've that. got some other things that we're going to. Just drop in there as well. So you've got the spinach that's just sort of waiting, standing by. I see you've got some... This so those are for our little toppings there because you want a bit of a textural element. I okay, think, see, look, at, look at how that mixture is all coming together so beautifully. You want to make sure it is very liberally mixed so that you've got the, yes. the wet ingredients right the way through so it will actually set. And then I'm going to add the spinach. I'd probably Already? Just, it looks so good. It looks, it looks the, the so colors healthy, are there. dude. 
Hey, it looks like one of the healthiest things we've ever actually made in this kitchen. And I mean, look how clean this bench is. I mean, this is this is the way we cook. Very clean bench. Um, it's and the this, best. I, I think, with trying to make sure that you're getting your children to eat a balanced diet, take the pressure off your shoulders, man. Don't judge yourself if your child doesn't go and pick up a broccoli stick and just chow it raw. But it was it was okay. so quick, and I think you know the, the envy of many parents at the moment. But you know what? Don't worry, dear parent. We actually got you covered. Expressoshow.com if you want to get the recipe. And in the next couple of seconds, Look I'm going to throw thing. you a, re a recipe recap because that'll Look make that. it even Look more easy that. for you. Ta-da! Well, easier for you. And there we Ta go. And um, then you've got a couple of things you're going to add there. That's okay. So you're going to do that. You're going to sprinkle some sesame seeds here yes, on right. the left. Okay. Um, sprinkle them sprinkle on there top. And sprinkle. Then some garlic flakes. Garlic flakes are great. Come on. Little. Talk about a mommy flavour, and then a little bit of a hard cheese. That the, okay. People keep coming and grabbing some of our hard cheese. Yes, I know. Okay. And then. Beautiful, man. Then we're good to go. Then we're done. Pop it into Beautiful. the oven, 30, uh, about 180 degrees, 30 to 40 minutes. So it will take a little bit longer because of the, yes. the quinoa um, and the polenta to make sure that that sets and cooks through. If it's browning too much on top, yep. just some tin foil over it so that you can allow it to cook through and cook from the, the bottom up. But then, Bob's your uncle. Easy you've got peasy. yourself. Absolutely miraculous looking frittatas, egg free, baby. We mm. could do it, and so can you. Take a look at this recap. Let's continue.